great, great honor to address you on the occasion of the 45th anniversary of the United Arab Emirates. Um, Sweden and the United Arab Emirates are two very comparable countries. Both have about 10 million people living and working. And both are countries that are actually striving for innovation and modernity. Um, I've been ambassador to the UAE since about two years. And I've seen how the developments have progressed during that time. Um, many unique developments, appointments of a minister of happiness, a minister of tolerance, a minister of use. All these things are a testimony to uh, the, um, the strengths and the, the use of this country uh, and how you are progressing at a very quick pace. Our two countries also have very close relations. 4,200 Swedes call the UAE home. The UAE is also the third uh, biggest destination for Swedish tourists outside of Europe. And we have 220 companies uh, living, working out of the UAE. This is a hub for many companies, not only for the United Arab Emirates, but also for the region, uh, the region of the Middle East, but also for the region of Asia and of Africa. Um, as we now are celebrating the National Day of the United Arab, Arab Emirates, uh, there are many of our citizens, nationals living here, who would also be celebrating with you on this day. Um, we would, as we see many Swedes coming to visit this country, we hope that many Emiratis will also discover Sweden as a destination for tourism, for business and for studies. Many of your ministers, uh, many of high-level delegations have already made their way to Sweden as Swedes have, have come here. We've had Her Majesty the Queen of Sweden visiting the UAE. We've had ministers going in both directions. And we are now, of course, gearing up to prepare for events to come in the next year uh, and in the coming years. We are, of course, very enthusiastic about the Dubai uh, 2020 Expo, the World Expo to be hosted in Dubai. And uh, many Swedish companies and many Swedes are very enthusiastic to make that a success. Music